Hello, my name is Amanda Ibarra. And my name is Alejandro Ramirez. We are students at Harmony Science Academy Laredo. For project-based learning demonstrations, we will be studying and analyzing the different sound waves that are resonated from gravity tubes and other objects. We will need the following materials. A wooden box with a tuning fork, a ping pong ball attached to a string, a wooden stick, a cup of water, a tuning fork, a PASCO speaker, a PASCO wave generator, and of course, a gravity tube. Sound waves are mechanical waves. They're longitudinal, which means they need a medium to propagate. In other words, you will not be able to hear a sound in space because there's no medium in space. The direction equals the motion of the particles. Here we have four gravity tubes. Each tube has a closed and open end. The gravity tubes use the principle of sound and the properties of air. Each end of the tube contains pressure that pushes into the tube. The sound waves travel through the tube. Depending on the length of the tube, and if the end is open or closed, we will observe the standing waves, which are the vibrations of the system in which particle points remain fixed while others between them vibrate with maximal amplitude. Well, what we have here is a standard stereo. We use the sine wave generator to manipulate the flow of frequency. Frequency is how many waves the source can create in a second. As Alex increases the amount of frequency emitted from the speaker, we can hear a higher pitch. The speed of a wave is given by the wavelength times the frequency. The following demonstrations are about resonance, or in simple terms, the vibration that sound causes. When Amanda hits the tuning fork on the table, it creates resonance. The resonance is the reason why the tuning fork vibrates. Even though we can't see it vibrate, we can see the water being displaced as the fork is placed in the cup. What we have here are two wooden boxes with tuning forks placed in the middle of them. The boxes are placed next to each other and have hollow ends which will allow the sound waves to travel through them thus moving the ping pong ball back and forth. The waves are amplified because of the resonance between the boxes. Resonance is a reinforcement of sound by reflection from a surface of a neighboring object. The use of sound equipments in the United States military began in the late 2000s and early 2010s. These weapons kill, incapacitate, or injure an opponent with the use of dangerous sound waves that can destroy an eardrum. They can also generate lower-powered sound waves that can cause nausea. The use of sound waves on the battlefield can prevent lives from being lost and could be implemented as soon as engineers perfect their creations. For our ELA connection, we decided to record a journal entry about the first time we attempted our experiment. This includes the various times we experienced trial and error. Check out our website to read about it. Thank you for watching Harmony Public Schools.